Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're going to be working on this old concrete wall right here. So let me show you what we're going to be doing and then, uh, then we're going to jump into it and get to work. So we are right out here on the side of the Old Bird Farmhouse where I have this old concrete wall that was put up in I think the 50s or the 60s. Several of the older homes around here have similar concrete walls and I absolutely love this one especially when it's not covered in wisteria. But my wall here is damaged in various places. You can see right here, it's fallen over. And I tell you what, as a kid, when I used to come out here, I absolutely loved this. It was like finding ancient ruins in the woods because even back then, this area was all overgrown. So I've had kind of a sentimental attachment to this wall and even the, uh, the, uh, the ruined estate of it right here but no more we got to do something about it of course you know i have the old bird farm garden over on the other side of the wall you can kind of see it there if you peer through the wisteria and then we have this nice newly opened area back here that i think i'm going to try to find a picnic table or something to put up here i think that'd be really nice anyway i want to connect these two sections of the yard uh, for one, to make maintenance easier, and we can also get rid of all of this wisteria here. Of course, you know, it's connected there. We have to walk around the fence, but I think having it opened here where we can traverse back and forth right here would be nice as well. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to remove a couple trees. This is a uh, black walnut tree right here, and I have a bunch of black walnuts all over this property. This is just a smaller one, and it needs to go. Then we'll get in here, do something with all this old concrete. I've got just the perfect place for it, I think, and the wisteria. So we're gonna put in some work and uh, get this done. All right, so I'm using my little electric chainsaw to uh, do this. Um, I've gotta say, I'm actually a big fan of these uh, electric chainsaws now. Used to be way back when electric chainsaws were just a joke. These new ones are killer. Not a sponsored video, by the way. This was not a sponsored product. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to drop this tree this direction. It's leaning all manner of different ways, so we'll be careful with it. Yeah, this tree was just leaning in so many different directions, even notching it, uh, even notching it, it still wanted to go the other way. Uh, that's why we got a tractor. Now I'm gonna cut it up into small pieces and uh, get this cleaned up. All right, we've already got, you know, this area starting to be connected here. Um, I'm just cleaning up old pieces of the rock wall right now. I could, you know, sell these on eBay like they make pieces of the Berlin wall. I'm just kidding. I've um, got the lower foundation of it, which is your cinder block there, and then more pieces there. We'll come uh, rip that out of the ground when I come back. I'm gonna dump this in some soft spots in the road in the field road because you know you making use of junk out here it's always a good thing oh holy smokes look at the size of this thing here ah just look at the size of that thing right there look at that wisteria vine we about to kill it too we about to kill it let's see here grab a chainsaw get a chainsaw point of view Uh, it's not all the way through, is it? 
try not to dip the chainsaw down in the soil. Actually, I've seen bigger wisteria vines out here. Still, that's another one we can mark off the list, at least part of it. All right, let me see if I can't dig the foundation for this section of wall out without disturbing the rest of the wall. Got the dang old microphone. Got to remember that. Anyway, what I was attempting to say just a moment ago is I don't like the trend I was seeing trying to push on this foundation down here. So uh, this foundation is actually two cinder blocks deep uh, buried in there. But when I was trying to push it, I was hoping it would just kind of come apart like the rest of the wall has right here. But it was moving this. Uh, to this this pillar or whatever you want to call it too and so I don't I don't want to damage the rest of the wall um, so I don't mind just leaving this foundation here uh, we can still have a pass through right here once I clean it up of course we'll still have a pass through so we can uh, easily get back and forth um, and I can drive the tractor over this wall too it won't you know hurt that uh, I may bring a sledgehammer out which I don't have one on hand and uh, just bust it up the rest of the way but for now I'm just gonna pick up more pieces of the wall and go dump them in a rut in the old bird farm field road. So it's the next day out here on the old bird farm. Uh, yesterday, as you know, because you're watching this video, uh, I started this wall opening up. Uh, it started raining, so I left. Uh, it's rained overnight. It actually stormed really good here in Georgia. Uh, I lost a couple more windows in the house um, that I have to replace. I'm gonna do that today, maybe on video, maybe not. Um, every time it storms here now, and we, we've had uh, several storms with some really bad wind, uh, I lose windows in the house. And it's because the, all the old glaze on the windows uh, is, is bad, it's gone. And uh, some of the windows weren't, they didn't use the glazing points to put the windows in the house in the right way, way back when. So they're poorly installed, plus the glazing being gone and all of the wind uh, causes uh, the windows to, to blow out. Um, and uh, anyway, I gotta fix that today. But it's also because for so long, the house was completely grown up against uh, before we started uh, clearing out around here. Now there's the good and the bad with all the vegetation protected the house from wind, 
but it also caused the house to rot because it held moisture in there. So as we open it up more and uh, lessen the wind breaks, stuff like that happens. Because I was trying to figure out, why am I losing windows now after they you know, were in the house for all this time while it was abandoned? And that's the reason why. So we're gonna get back to this wall now and we're gonna finish all this up or clean up the uh, holly I trimmed up and uh, get this done. You remember what it looked like when we started because it sure is different now this is exactly what I wanted though uh, it's still gonna do some more cleanup work here I'm gonna throw the bush hog on not on this video but I'm gonna throw the bush hog on chew up all these wisteria vines that are on the ground here and any of this other smaller stuff but it looks uh, it's it looks a lot better here for one we got rid of a lot more big wisteria vines but I also I just like the way that this looks now. This was purely a cosmetic operation. You know, so much of what we've been doing at the old bird farm has been because we needed to. We needed to clear the land, work on the house, that sort of thing. But this, this was purely a, a cosmetic thing. And uh, I, I like it. I like it. I like being able to just walk without tripping over stuff, which that might take a minute to not be tripping over stuff, but just be able to walk through here Pick up my water bottle I dropped. I'll set that there for good measure. Just be able to walk into the garden. Right there. Let's take a look from this view. And wow, that's an, that's an attractive piece of property back there. It really is. I mean, it's going to take, you know, more work to rid it of all the invasive wisteria but that is an attractive piece of property. And I love this opening right here now with the almost perfectly centered giant pine tree there. As long as it doesn't fall on me because the wind sure is blowing. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks a whole lot better and uh, it creates a whole different, you know, atmosphere here, I think. Um, you know, surely we could walk around the fence or around the wall to get to this piece of property but having this open right here being able to see it clearly from back here from the garden it's it's great in my opinion i'm very happy with it let's have a look at it from back here yep that's that's an amazing view it's amazing what we've been able to accomplish here at the Old Bird Farm. I keep talking about it, but I keep just seeing stuff and just thinking, wow, 
myself, you know, turning this from an abandoned farm as it was to a working farm where we are a, you know, we're a, an official farm with the state and, and it, being able to, you know, have nice spaces that we can just do purely cosmetic stuff, purely stuff for us to enjoy and appreciate the land. It's been an amazing transformation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time out here on the Old Bird Farm.